Dream dinner guest. Uh, Gandhi. No, not Gandhi. Gan- David Gandhi. <laughs> <laughs> we all need to love each other. Hello, we are Adam and Josh, and welcome to Nake Fuse, the show where we muse the news and our views for all of yous. Uh, the first story is in regards to graffiti in Norwich. Uh, obviously, there's lots of tags that are going around in Norwich at the moment. Like um, what? Well, one in particular, um, a tag, just simple, Les Dennis. <laughs> <laughs> A, a, a mystery graffitier, uh, if that's a if that's a term, graffitier, um, who goes around Norwich, literally putting Les Dennis, the words Les Dennis, everywhere. Les Dennis. Oh, do you, is it is it Les Dennis? Who do you think it is? Les Dennis did respond to all of this heat. He said, "It wasn't me." That's going to hold up in court. I imagine. <laughs> <laughs> Les, are you sure? Are you sure you didn't do it? It, it wasn't me. Case closed. I think when uh, people are, you know, kids mm. and they're doing these things, you mm. know, they, they want to come up with something really cool, mm. like, uh, I don't know, a cool tag, that whatever you like think. That, like that S with that lime and that lime and that lime. Right. Bit. I don't know what it's called. So when it comes to, you know, you and your all, all your boys are sat around, mm. it's like, I've come up with a perfect tag. Mm. What is it? Les Dennis. <laughs> Where is this going to end? You know, is it just going to be like oh, next thing London taking over Les Dennis over the whole country? A massive epidemic. Les Dennis. I mean, he'd probably love that. Les Dennis. 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 Um, so, do you have a story for mm. me? Do you remember that? Um, I think it was, it was a beluga whale. That, uh, Benny the beluga whale. Benny the beluga yeah, whale yeah. that ended up in the Thames, the Thames right? Yeah. There's, there's been an update on Benny the beluga whale. Okay. The beluga whale that was spotted in the River Thames nearly two months ago appears to be thriving, according to experts. Benny the beluga whale was first spotted off Gravesend on 25th of September and has been regularly sighted every week. Isn't Gravesend near Essex? At the end of the day, you can just stuff yourself. You get me? I mean, I just think, drop me out. <laughs> yeah, I know, love. I know, I'm just too good for him. <laughs> what I want to know is, what is this beluga whale's uh, motivation for going from presumably like a warm, hot Ooh. climate, yeah. you know, the Caribbean uh, or something like that, Gravesend. <laughs> thousands and thousands of miles to, I don't know, sample the delights of the Gravesend coastline. He's getting, he's getting out a map as he sort of gets it. Gets, he's like, where do I want to go? He gets his map out with his flippers. A globe, just spinning <laughs> yeah, around. Yeah. Like, That's the perfect it. thing. Because a map doesn't really, but a globe, you can just go. <laughs> Graves end. <laughs> okay, off we go. <laughs> and you're that. definitely going to follow me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You go to Gravesend while they're sunning it up in Mallorca. It's like, ah. and what a sight that must be! The, the, probably the most exotic they, the thing they've seen in, in, in Gravesend is a, I don't know, butternut squash. <laughs> and now they're not in <laughs> Blue Butternut squash. Uh, if you are from Gravesend, I'm sorry. Enjoy your butternut squash. Right, what's next? What's next? This is actually from uh, Sky News. Again, very reliable source. Mm -hmm. uh, now, more than one in ten nursery staff say they often hear children swearing. Me. <laughs> a lot of young children uh, do might not hear it at home. However, they might hear it uh, in pop songs and on YouTube. So. Well, and uh, then they're replicating that in the, yeah, the classroom. Yeah. What scenario do you think you would be in in nursery where it was 
it would crop up. So, can anybody tell me what the letter P stands for? No, it stands for piss flaps. What about the letter B? Ball? No, bollocks. Bollocks. What about the letter L? Les Dennis! <laughs> Got a story here. I hire a man to pretend to be my daughter's dad. And she doesn't know. Right? This is a woman in uh, Japan has basically hired uh, this actor to play her daughter's dad. And I promise that I will never leave you again. Great. Adam, that was fantastic. Uh, lovely. Um, so, obviously you'll be playing uh, Suki's father, who, who hasn't been around for a while. Yeah, yeah. Great part. Yeah. It's just, um, Suki's... Suki is a Japanese girl, so... Yeah. You'd have to um, resemble yeah. someone Japanese. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Daddy's here. Daddy's always going to be here. It's like, I love you, Daddy. And there must be something in his mind where he goes... I think I might have got in a bit too deep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. This 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 acting job is is kind of taking over my life. <laughs> and I I like you. Yeah, I, yeah, like I love you, you Daddy. <laughs> I know you do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is from NBC News, mm -hmm. uh, and it's about a zoo in uh, Detroit. Detroit Zoo, in fact, USA. Some visitors to the Detroit Zoo will soon be able to add animal droppings to their souvenir list. Free buckets of five pounds of animal manure, dubbed Detroit Zoo Poo, will be handed out as part of the zoo's Greenfest celebration. You've just paid, I think it's about 30 quid these yeah, days yeah, to get no, and you paid 30 yeah. quid. Here you are, mate. Every entrance, five pounds of poo. And I'm, that's not like, <laughs> that's a, that's not like a dropping. <laughs> yeah, right? yeah, that's yeah. like a size yeah, of a That's not a rabbit, like, in a matchbox. Oh, souvenir, <laughs> thank you. Do they give it at the end? That's quite important. I don't do know. I don't know end. if it's beginning or end. If, if, if they did say at the start, like, oh, you also get this, I was like, I'd be like, oh, do you mind if I collect that later? I really want it. I really want it. I love to. Um, especially buckets of it. Five pounds. I'm just going to leave it there and pick it up later, if that's okay. I'm definitely going to come back. What's your name? Don't worry about my name. Don't worry. It doesn't matter. What time are you going to be back? Ah. Oh. X7. <laughs> you obviously, the reason why they do it is to spread awareness uh, uh, of, of. There'll of, definitely be a spreading. <laughs> <on> that. <laughs> that that whole like cliche of like you go and see the chimps mm. and like the monkeys yeah. and they pick up their poo and they love it at yeah. you. Just maybe... grab a bucket, <laughs> <laughs> you, like a game. That's a better exactly. way. Or maybe the, maybe the cleaners just wanted the day off. <laughs> Imagine being like in this in this the CEO or <coughs> or in the meeting. Look, Jenkins, we are hemorrhaging money at the moment. What is the issue? Well, I I've been having a look at the account, sir, and it seems as if approximately 80% of the zoo's overall budget is going towards... Well, I, I don't really know how to say this. Well, try. Well, it's... It's poo. What? Dung. Scat. Turd. Come again. Nature's... Blado! Look, I don't want issues. I, I want solutions. I, I don't know what we can do. I mean, it's not like we can just give it away. Thank you very much for joining us this week. Uh, join us next week where we'll be musing over more news and giving our views. See you later. Bye. We're just going to give out this poo. Give out the poo. Give out the poo. Going to give it away. All the poo's gone.